Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, this is soprano saxophonist Sam Newsom. Just wanted to share with you some thoughts I've been pondering here. You know, this is something I call acute practicing versus chronic practicing. Typically, we associate these terms with diseases, but you know, they actually have more straightforward definitions. Acute means merely short term or a short period, and chronic just means ongoing or an extended period. Now that we've established an understanding of these terms, here's how they actually apply to practicing. Acute practicing, as I understand it, is goal-oriented and time-specific. For example, practicing your skills from noon to one, or working on a particular piece from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So this is how we typically approach it. Well, chronic practicing, on the other hand, it's not necessarily goal-oriented, but could be, nor time-specific. Chronic practicing could be passively, hearing those things talked about, you know, as we do other things, or rehearsing a piece that we're working on in our heads you know, all throughout the day, long, you know, after we put our instruments away. You know, we've all heard horn players humming or whistling ideas that they're working on, almost on a subconscious level. The same could be, you know, said for drummers who are always tapping out grooves or rhythms, no matter how annoying to those around them. So these are all classic examples of chronic practicing. Pra uh, saxophonist Branford Marcellus, you know, often uh, talked about chronic practicing uh, when he transcribed. Now, this is my assessment, not his. You know, where the first step for him is to listen to a solo hundreds of times. Well, maybe not that many. <laughs> and then once he gets it into his ear, solid enough, and he's able to sing every note, only then will he attempt to transcribe it. So this certainly differs from the acute practicing method that we all sort of uh, practice, you know, where we would listen to it, uh, take out a sheet of manuscript paper, and then write it down let's say from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m., and then job done. <laughs> you know, this is certainly a methodology that I employ, or you certainly ha have employed uh, numerous times in the past. So it's important, though, to recognize both approaches as actually having their own advantages. Now, I do something similar when I'm, uh, you might say, confronted with something rhythmically challenging. <laughs> you know, like before, attempting to play on my instrument, you know, you know, I might spend a week or so just singing it, tapping it out on the table or my lap or humming it, uh, you know, anything to get it further embedded into my system. One might conclude, you know, that acute practicing is done with one's instrument and chronic practicing is done without. In many instances, this is actually true, but, you know, certainly not exclusive. Or simply stated, acute practicing is a method for getting things under your fingers. Chronic practicing is exactly how you get those things into your, into your system. As I often say, what I'm discussing is hardly hard science, but simply a softer way of learning. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Thanks for listening, and I will speak to you the next time. All right.